I was actually going to offer you my help. You're local? Mississippi. Oh, okay. Always can use a vet. You both crazy because it's not really a picture, it's a video. Ha ha! <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> he does, he looks enormous. And that's one of those snakes that's offered me some of the Alright, so you guys are red stick reptiles? Yeah, it's my buddy Jonah down there. Okay, very cool, very cool. Glad to meet you. Glad to meet you. <laughs> Want us to pull anything out for you, I'd be more than happy. They always look better in your hands. I this touch snakes I every day. It's great, every right? Day. You got your own at the house or do you do it for work? And I have a YouTube channel, which means you guys stuff's gonna be on there. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, you gotta have a reputation. Where's your sign? We don't have one, unfortunately. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I've got to get one made. I just okay. haven't had it done yet. All right, well then how about this? Introduce yourself. I am Tiffany and I own Jumping Creations. And then she has all her ice pods. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you. I'm more of a hobbyist than a breeder. <laughs> and we're, oh, wait, there it is. How are you guys doing? We're doing good, and yourself? Not bad. We can't complain. I was going to stay home and do yard work, but she talked me out of it. Hey, yeah. this is Which a lot is more rare. Fun. She never does that. Yeah. So. Red sided garters in Oregon. Please stop, please stop. Captain. Please stop. That'd be a pretty easy snack to keep, wouldn't it? Very. They love fish. They yeah. eat chopped up worms. You can even chop up fish for them. They're really great. Doing, Feed them uh, anything. <laughs> Most of that. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. Even eat crickets. Right. Need some cats and bread. Uh, speckle kings. Speckle kings on frozen pinky mice. That is cool. Keep some parasites now. So tell me about your booth. I, all this stuff is bamboo that I go out and collect and sit in my little walker and cut it down between 20 and 30 foot pieces to make everything that you see. 
from wind chimes, walking sticks, plants in a tube, hide tubes, and my least, my latest creation is my tang cubby. I was at a gun knife show a couple weeks ago, and there it was called the stash box to keep those people happy. <laughs> but here I thought I'd stay politically correct. And was, that is kind of cool, really. At all different sizes, just and what ha the way these get made is you have to like cut perfect for this side mm -hmm. to make this side, and then you tap it out, and a lot of times it breaks, and it turns into a bird feeder. <laughs> no, it's a bird feeder. Yeah. So nothing gets wasted. That's cool. So you, you have a neighbor that's got like a, a bunch of like bamboo yes. that you can't get rid of? Yes. Okay, that's cool. Yes. That's right. Well, somebody came up to me at one of the shows and said, you need to come to my house and get bamboo. And I was like, <laughs> I don't think that's high enough for an arboreal, but it's still a damn good cage. Uh, so those things aren't that easy to make. Obviously, we're creative exotics. My wife builds and does all of this stuff for the habitats. Um, that's actually pretty quality made stuff. It looks good. Yeah, they're, they're the same material that's made that the racks are made out of. Um, they're so they're sturdy enough. You, my wife uses it as a shelf when she hangs it on the wall. Because these, this one here, this one here, and this one here are our, our personal ones, our display ones that mm -hmm. we hang up at home in between shows. Um, yeah, she uses it as a shelf. She puts geodes on top of it. So rocks, they're a little heavy. It'll, it, they're pretty sturdy. Um, you can hold isopods, beetles, uh, spiders. We have morning geckos in that one there. So, and we do do all kinds of t-shirts and leashes. So. That wasn't loud enough. I think you should try again. These are cool species. I was going to interview you and ask you questions, but I think you want to put you on, I'm sorry, on the yeah. camera eating. I'm <laughs> I hate being on camera. <laughs> That's cool. Iron pyrite. Well, Ranger was real excited. He used to have the straight talks for weeks. Yeah. I feel like that's weird. It's rough, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, it's cute and cuddling. You guys need to move more. These are making enough for These are one of my favorite lizards, actually. I realize they're too rusty, but I always hate when I see people loading up in the water. I just know half of them are going to take me around. She's going to die. All right, tell me about your stuff. And then we do like um, this is a Texas email. Blood python, she keeps short tails. Uh, so we got blood pythons, borneos, and some right, short tails. Okay. So this is a het negative blood python. And this is a vulcanite blood python. Yes. Yeah, we traveled from Memphis. Let me get you my contact information. Uh, so I have this in my direct phone show number. Person. Okay, you're the show person. Well, do some show. <laughs> Let's see it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to. These are really great. Oh, that's very cool. Jack. He should be fine. Jack is very handsome. Yes, he is. I think
So do you get upset when people call them mud puppies? I mean, mud puppies are a different species. They are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Do axolotls have to be on one, or can they have like, another one? A little bit more depth between so you can really see it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, you got it. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, they're awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Don't tell the other guy over there with hog nose, but it's my favorite species. Oh, oh yeah, totally. <laughs> Aren't those pretty? Cool, cool. That's snakes, a nice setup. Thank, Thank you. We don't have many left, but that's always a good problem, uh, I think. Yeah. I don't need all those males. These are cool over here, a whole, whole bunch of them. I like that color. Isn't that beautiful? And the fact that they keep that color is awesome. Just makes you want to eat it, it's so, it, so pretty. Yeah. It's like a tangerine or something. <laughs> Love it. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. Anyway, I have a YouTube channel. Oh, perfect. You want to say yes. something Hi. to the people on YouTube channel? Nice to meet you and hope uh, you enjoy all the video that you've re uh, received today. We've got our beautiful little hog nose here and uh, miss having you. So, next Slidell show, be here. That's right. Gotta be here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's one of the African species. Yes. All right, cool. He's an African porcupine. He's about a month old. He's on a bottle. He's on a bottle two times a day. Um, he eats apples, as you see, he loves them. Um, carrots, greens, celery, blueberries, grapes, raspberries. He loves it all. And pumpkin. And haven't tried that one yet. That is cool. And you said you were oh, a big you people owe them five dollars for a baby porcupine encounter. Oh. <laughs> yes, I'm a veterinarian. Uh, where? Uh, on Mississippi, just across the state line. Oh, okay. We have a vet over there that sees our exotics, actually. And who was that? Uh, Dr. Bird. Okay. The mobile uh, right golf court. I even have a YouTube channel myself. This is where this is, which, where this is going. Well, I, have, I wish I would have brought my Cody too. She loves the camera. I have a three legged Cody and then another Cody as well, but she has all of her limbs. Cool. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'll be uh, neutering one of those next uh, next week, I believe. Smart idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unless you want to breed them. Yeah. You're so cute. You're so cute. I think yeah. I need more apple. <laughs> We're bringing you to Baba. I know, we're getting it, we're getting it, we're getting it. <laughs> All right, so for the YouTube channel, is that something you want to say to the peoples? Uh, not really. Just no, have a good, no, have no, a good no. holidays. Check out Bailey and Bailey Reptiles. Yeah, okay, good, that'll work. Have a good holidays and buy somebody a reptile for Christmas. There you go. Cool. Thank you. How's it going? Good. I'm also from Mississippi. Okay. Something you want to say to people on a YouTube channel? Sir? Anything you want to say to people on a YouTube channel? Don't be shy. Buy my reptiles. My stinks are the best. They're magical. Come on. Make something up. Uh, <laughs> Say what? Oh. You're doing fine. We can share these snakes. How you doing? All right, yourself? I'm doing great. 
All right, I have a YouTube channel, also a local vet. Okay. Something you want to tell me about your reptiles? They're just very easy to take care of. And that is true. This is one of the, the, the easiest lowest one. maintenance species there are when it comes to pet That's reptiles. Right. You give them the right conditions, they'll live for a long time. That's the main thing is just make sure they're home and the temperatures are correct. Feed them once a week. Get the humidity right. Just take good care of them. Don't forget to get them checked by a veterinarian for parasites. Exactly. Yeah, see? <laughs> but uh yeah i always take them to an exotic vet or any vet if you have any trouble because like i said that's the best way to go if you have something for the snake gone wrong it's hard to it's hard to diagnose it yourself without a vet dr it, google sucks for that stuff yeah dr google is bad <laughs> news <laughs> very cool thank you uh, say that again the crazy vet yeah that guy yeah who was he <laughs> that's cool Anyway. So I see you guys are from Oak Grove, Los Angeles. Oak Grove, Louisiana. Way up north. Around <laughs> right, He says you're going to do better than him on the uh, introduction of your stuff. I'm this, the, this is take two. I'm actually the owner of hers. Okay. I'm the, I'm the show owner and promoter. Oh, wow. Um, so, I'm so that's just, your truck I got a picture of outside. That's my truck. Uh, okay, yes, I got a picture yes, of it. Um, It'll be on the YouTube channel eventually. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, no, we, um, we bring in vendors from all over the United States to come and sell their animals. We handpick everybody, and we like some of these guys. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but we treat everybody like family and make sure all the animals are properly taken care of and people get the right info, and, and uh, hopefully everybody goes home happy. About how many times a year do you do this now? Uh, we're here in, in Slidell three times a year, and then we're in the West Bank twice a year, too. So we do shows all over Texas, Oklahoma, and Louisiana. I was going to be in the last two shows, but it turns out there was too many rules getting into New Orleans and stuff, so I said, oh, yeah, we're we've been having trouble, but next year should be better. We're right after, I think we're the weekend after Mardi Gras all this coming year. Yeah, the Omicron so. variants just get weaker and weaker, so yeah, we'd be fine. It'd be yeah. a cold by next year. It'd be so. all right, yes, <laughs> Yeah, it's been a great show this weekend. Really good turnout. Very good. I, hey, it is. It is. I was surprised how many cars were outside. Yeah. And that crazy variety. truck. You yeah, can't forget that crazy truck. You can't miss the truck. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for what you're doing. Thanks, sir. Wow. Hello, little baby. I want to pick that one. I specialize in corn snakes, king snakes, and milk snakes, and I do a few hybrids. And, uh, my pets are crocodiles, and so that's why there's a crocodile on my card. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that those weren't snakes on the card there, but I like that. Yeah. Very cool. So, what do we got all these species here again? Uh, most of them are corn snakes. Uh, there's a few ball pythons and king snakes in the mix, but I specialize in corns. Okay. So. That is also one of my favorite species. Very hardy, <laughs> very easy to work on yeah, as if, a doctor. And If I don't have the morph available, it probably doesn't exist. That is cool. That is cool. And, then, and you, I see you hire midgets. Ah. <laughs> I, I borrowed him from and another giants. vendor. Oh, and giants. There you go. All right. Speaking of which, I was getting some pictures of your sign, too, So, because getting these guys fed is a pain, hard, hard enough job in itself. Yes, so. it is. Here's a cool. card. If you need me, screen. Really? We just bought a new property that has four 30,000 square foot buildings. So if I max out all four, we're talking two million rats a month. Wow. And do you like give uh, like discounts to wildlife centers and things like My that? My biggest customers are rehabbers. Um, raptor rehabbers are by far are the biggest supplier of the biggest people that need rodents. Yeah. You know, an owl eats five to 10 mice a day. The snake eats once a week. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very much. Yeah, I'm on the board of Wild at Heart, and okay. so I do wildlife all the time. Cool. So we are going to remember that name right there. All right. I like the little curios and stuff. So whenever I had went to the shop, they had that. It was good. I had to send a photo back to my mom because she said no animals. And so I said to that one, play it, right? I get back to the, the house. I said, look at my new baby. And she's like, where's the guy? You didn't get it. She's not a You're your wrist, do you? No, sir. <clears throat> Look, he's webbing all over me. <laughs>
gotta leave that track behind so he knows where he came from. Right. Oh, he's pretty. I like him. I like him. Yeah, that's a six-year-old female. He's trying to see where he's going. Oh. <laughs> So, I'm a local vet, and I also do uh, invertebrate medicine. So, tell me about this guy with a YouTube channel. Okay. Well, honestly, I'm not the best for to ask. I just recently got back into tarantulas, so I've got a lot to learn. Okay. So, <laughs> but if they were looking to buy one of these things, where would they go? So, uh, there's different reptile shows you can go to. Herbs is one of them. Um, we travel around. We do um, New Orleans and Slide Out. Mm -hmm. um, and also Lafayette. So, is there like a dot .com or a website or someplace yeah, they can so, follow you? Um, we have, uh, particularly uh, for us, we got Polished Exotics. Um, and on our website, you can find a lot more tarantulas. Um, millipedes. I've got one of the largest selections of millipedes that you'll find at mostly shows. That's cool. Um, and then also ice spots. So. There you go. Cool. So, That's what I was trying to help you out. Thank you, brother. Well, I have a YouTube channel, and I thought maybe you'd like to tell me about your thing. Uh, normal reptiles. We've got, uh, we breed corn snakes um, and some Mexican black king snakes. And where do we find you if they're looking for you? Since uh, they're not here and they cannot see where you're from. NolaReptiles.com or uh, Morph Market as well. All right, cool. Yes, sir. And, uh, you know, being a veterinarian, you do recommend getting them checked by a vet, right? Uh, I definitely re okay. recommend finding a good reptile vet in your area. <laughs> Uh, that you can take them to and get them in uh, right away. If, if you were if you were looking for one, do you think you'd call that guy? Uh, I think I've heard of this guy before. No way. Yeah, I, no. Think, I think I have your card at home. <laughs> Thank call, you. I'd call the crazy guy. <laughs> oh, man, it don't get any better than that. Thank you very much. You shot away from that camera really quick. No. <laughs> so are you Bob and that's Sue? That's it. <laughs> I'm from Gulfport. Are you? Yeah. And yeah, we are too. We've run into a bunch of people from Gulfport today. Who's your vet? Mm hmm? Who's your vet? Don't have one. I can't find one. Well, dude, it's it's a good thing that I'm here then, isn't it? Van Clean. Well, that's where the Wildlife Center is. I'm actually in Gulfport. You already go for it. I live a block off Courthouse Road. You just uh, dogs and cats, and you do exotics. A lot of exotics. Really? Yes. And you're on, on Courthouse? I, well, it's where I live, about a block off Courthouse. Oh, okay. Well, we're at uh, Ford and Pass. Right behind. You know where the uh, Mardi Gras building is? Yeah. We're right behind it. Very cool. About two, three blocks down behind it. So, yeah, we're. We've been here a year and a half, and we've been trying to find somebody. And no one pointed you in my direction yet? Everybody says I don't know what the hell else I can do. Got a YouTube channel and everything else. I can't make it any easier for you. Well, I even came and gave you a card today. And you will hear me. <laughs> you absolutely will. Very cool. Hear from us. So, what is this company that you've got? Um, Repti Stop. I don't have a banner. I'm not fancy. Well, then tell me about it. I uh, breed Presta Geckos and um, Exolotls. Okay, very cool. Oh, and Lichianus Geckos. They're the biggest geckos. She's back there. Okay. And where are you out of? Metairie. Metairie. And if somebody were looking for one of your Exolotls or Presta Geckos, where would they go? Repti Stop on Facebook. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. So, tell me about your stuff. Got uh, Argentine tigers. Got little babies. I didn't even notice him on your shoulder. <laughs> it's a baby red. And down here. The last red I saw had profuse dead. diarrhea. But oh. we fixed it. Here's here's our red daddy. That is cool. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again, I almost got turned on. <laughs> <laughs> she used to have a sense of humor. <laughs> you know you do. I mean, I don't have any of my animals right now. So I noticed not, that. I don't, you're you're like failing me. Yeah. Uh huh. I can show you one of my pickups. You know, I 
I see you have a monkey with you. Got this little guy. Oh, cool. That's from TNA Exotics. Is that your monkey? Yep, one of them. It's backwards. Starling. He's so if, all right, you're gonna make me drag this stuff out of you, right? What? Yeah, like, uh, what do you breed? Uh, Where do they find them if they like what you're breeding? I mean, outside of that creature. Well, um, <laughs> <laughs> we breed Tokay geckos, Western Hog Moses, and Leopard geckos. We're based out of Goldsport and um, Facebook. Once upon a gecko. Okay. And who's your favorite vet? Doctor Askew. <laughs> <laughs> all right, checks in the mail. <laughs> Love you guys. I'll talk to you in a while. Beautiful, dude. Or is it a dudette? Uh, girl. <laughs> that big dudette. Yep. Okay. This language thing down. <laughs> that is awesome. You don't see many of those around here. Mm -mm. Very cool. Thank you. And uh, who are you working with? CNA Exotics. Cool. So talking about CNA Exotics. Mm -hmm. uh, we breed hedgehogs. Sugar gliders, um, short tail possums. Now it's going to be short tail <laughs> possums and uh, bearded dragons. That is cool. That's cool. And where are you guys out of? Uh, Carrier, Mississippi. Okay. I think yeah. you guys just dropped down the corner. Yes, about cool. an hour from you now. So. Yeah. Yeah. We're about 25 minutes from top of the Well, thank you for surprising me with something different <laughs> in that pouch. That that might have made my day right there. I called thank that you. one wrong, completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to the drawing board. It looks like a female. <laughs> I got bit when I was 19 by part lines. Oh yeah, you showed me the scar. Yeah. Really? You got bit? Dude, that's awesome. I can only show scars from bear bites and sharks uh -huh. and stingrays. Right. So I, you know, you may got me beat. No, I was in. Uh... <laughs> I was in Guyana when I was 19 doing research on dinder babies, little frogs and dwarf frogs. Yeah. That was it. Stepped on it and it got me on the leg. Yeah. Then I spent six weeks in a hospital in Guyana, which is not so great. <laughs> and are you here because you want to get bit again? No, or... no, no, no. <laughs> no. I mean, because you are like, you know, I went inches from the hot snake aisle. And... After I got bit, that was it. Quit school, didn't do nothing. <laughs> and uh, this is the first reptile show I've been to in 25 years. Oh, so you're getting over some fears today. Oh, no, no, no. no. A buddy of mine breeds those bearded dragons. Oh, okay. So I told him, I said, yeah, I live three blocks away from you. Let me just drive that other 40 guy. miles to come and pay 10 bucks to come to hang out. Well, I love these <laughs> places. This is, this is awesome. All right, well, we're obviously at your booth. Tell us about your booth. Oh, it's, I have basically feeder insects, the pet uh, Madagascar and hissing roaches, and the cleanup crew, the isopod, which are <laughs> doodle bugs or roly polies. That's, yeah. That's a new craze now. They're actually really cool. I'm, I'm enjoying them. I'm fixing dates. I don't know if you've been over there and saw they, they got the rubber ducky isopods. No, I didn't see those. Uh, they literally look like a rubber duck. Um, go check them out when you, you get a chance. Okay, that's for the that's, next style over, right? That's yeah, medieval reptiles in the back corner. Okay. Yes. We were there, but I did not see a rubber ducky. I'd get one of those just yes, to say I had they one. they are cool. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, these are your hot snakes over here? Oh, no, no, no. no that's, you just, you're yeah. just, yeah, that's the yeah, line that separates them. I, I okay. like my fingers. <laughs> And uh, by the way, I do invertebrate stuff as well. I, I'm the, probably the only person you ever know that saved a million crickets. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. 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 Million crickets. Uh, I tried the weaving farm. the crickets. I would lose the babies. I'd, I'd, I'd produce them, but that's, one day I'd have 1,000. The next day I'd have 500. The next day I'd have 200. LSU. Okay, the red rings on these things are red because they taste better. No, I from Bush Viper. I had to be airlifted to Houston. And I would think if LSU had... She needed she's in well, Yeah, that's that's true too. Uh, but I, I don't know. Yeah. Houston would and Miami would, but right, right. Yeah. Um, one is a lot closer. Than we, the other. We're definitely closer to Houston yeah. for sure. Um, but I mean, I, the the plan, our, our protocol has always been: you call the local hospital, they get a chopper to Memphis. Memphis is going to call Houston. Uh, right. So, okay. 
can't believe my stupid ass came. In 1980, wow. it was six inches short of the world's record. Wow. And he's 42 inches long. I didn't know they got that. Yeah, I didn't either. Oh, that's Holy crap. 48. The, the record was 48, mine was 42. So I, I got second place. Second place? Hey, nothing yep. wrong with that. The only time my hands ever shook holding something, because even at that size, its head was the size of my thumbnail. Mm -hmm. And it pulled it pulled some shit on me that they do to birds. Yeah. I was, it, it hooked its uh, head into some pine straw, and just as I grabbed it, it took its tail and rolled it up into a ball and, and waved started it. <laughs> and it scared the shit out of me. Ah! Uh, and I went, ah, oh, stupid, you know. Yeah. That's why their heads and their tails are just black and yellow. Exactly. Because they'll roll that up and they'll do And they'll that wave it at you, yeah. As a, as like, a lure, you know? Yeah, yeah, and it worked. Birds are like, is that a worm? <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's effective, isn't it? There he is. Oh, yeah. He's been going all day. He doesn't like your storytelling. Uh, earlier, no. this one was going pretty good. He's kind of chilled out. You're in Mississippi. Come catch the cottonmouths in my front yard. I got hey, a couple of them. Gladly. Subspecies, and that's the Sonoran subspecies, and then there's a Mojave, and I don't remember what the third one is. What was that guy in South Haven for the longest time? Uh, Mike something. We used to go to him, and then he relocated. But yeah, and it's like two hours to an exotic vet. So we we d we did some reading. I can give shots, I can, you know, um, I can work with abscesses, I can lance, I can pop, I can, you know, just anything that needs to be done. But if it's out of my hands, I will contact them. I have a female that's got some size to her, that's why I need a male. I don't want to wait until she's an adult to get a male. She's already that big. Looks like a bite. I think it's a super good one. Oh, yeah. And I got her really cheap. So I You're good. Too bad. We can share. I'm just getting pictures for the channel. Hmm. Oh, dude. I'll be seeing that for sale. I mean, I'm actually surprised she's doing as well as she is. Wow, that is just remarkable. That to me is one of the coolest things on the planet. She's pretty crazy. She does have a hernia though, right here. And it bubbles out sometimes. You hmm. can kind of see it pulse a little bit. Yeah, we should probably get that sutured up and fixed. Or wait until she's a little bigger because we don't want to put her through anything crazy like that while she's so small. Crazy. We're afraid it might kill her. Nah, I don't think that would hurt her too much. Depending on who has your surgery, but yeah. that's that should be an easy enough procedure. At least to do nothing else, just close the skin over it. That way, nothing else pops out. Yeah. Because if something were, and whatever that is, you know, intestine, lung, if it were to get perforated to the outside, that would be a lifelong issue of infections and, and that type of thing. That's just cool. You should definitely talk to my boss about it. Because uh, I don't know too much about it, but he's a lot smarter than me, honestly. Okay, well, here's my card. If he ever wants to talk, All right, cool. have him give me a screen. Appreciate it. And I'm over in Gulfport, so. No, go left. No. <laughs> she's always fighting for direction. She's. I feed her two pinkies a week, but she's this small, and I think it's just because she's always fighting with herself. <laughs> yeah, but which mouth do you give them? One of each? Yeah, I give each one <laughs> a pinky. And one of them eats a little slower than the other, so it works out. Do you, all right, have you tried to feed them at the same time? I feed them at the same time. Okay, so here's my question. When the lump is making its way down the thing, do they do they separate and go, can they go side by side at some point in time and then one races ahead I've of the never other one? I've seen one go side by side. They're always like one ahead of the other. But one eats slower. Hmm. So one goes down, typically goes down first. I don't like them. Goes back to a barium to swallow and some diagnostics. I mean, that'd yeah. just be cool as hell. Every time one of these guys is born, we never get enough data. You know, to, to, you know, by the time they they die or whatever else happens to them. So yeah, I've seen them double headed before, but never 
that far back. Yeah, that is pretty far back, right yeah. Right to the, the, you know, the nap right behind it. And I actually have to rinse her off after I feed her because the heads will try to eat each other. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I've never seen one that far back. Smart. <laughs> Poor thing. I wonder how you'd stop that. No, I guess you can't. Unless you just keep feeding them. You'd have to gorge them when it stopped eating. I don't want to feed her too much because I'm afraid I'd yeah. like, make her feed. You're doing the right thing. I'm just, you know, when once they get in that feeding frenzy, it's hard to stop them. Yeah, I started them on pinky heads because I wanted to feed both heads, but I didn't want to feed them too much because she was tiny when she had. All right, so uh, you guys are exotics? By nature, yeah. Tell me about it. Oh, come on. You weren't shy a minute ago. <laughs> I mean, he's just he's a, he's a large snake breeder. He breeds corn snakes now, mostly. He used to okay. breed ball pythons. Breeds... Corn snakes are an awesome species. Oh, yeah. They're easy to keep in captivity. Oh, definitely. And he said after he hatched this, he was, it made him a true colubrid breeder. <laughs> because you're not a true colubrid breeder until you hatch. Until you get one, two heads, yeah. I have heard that before. Yeah, I thought it was really funny. Oh, cool. All right. So if they were looking to learn more about this guy or even purchase him, assuming he were ever on sale, which well, I doubt it. he is. How much? 25000 Oh, jeez. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Holy crap. I don't think she's going anywhere. I think yeah, no, I don't. I don't. That's, how you, that's how you keep them. You put a big price you on them. You put a giant price. If you sell her for that, then... I mean, money's You may get man. another one. You could buy, you know, 25000 buy another building, you know, yeah, put exactly. some more in there. Increase the Definitely. odds for the next one. I mean, one. she's cool, and it'll, I'll miss her if she goes, but honestly, it'll be worth having the money. <laughs> <laughs> money talks. Oh, yeah, Two hits, definitely. next walk. Yeah, exactly. And this thing crawls all over the place. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. No problem. Yeah. Not as wide in body, though. Yeah. Hey, where are from? these guys from? These guys are actually from South America and Europe. I have just as many squirrels as I play with. I've never heard of a micro squirrel. They have so many names. So you call them a micro squirrel, door mice, African pygmy mice. They have like literally like 15 different names. Well, I have a YouTube channel. Tell me what you people want to look at this guy or, or buy one. Where do they go? Uh, right now, I mean, I sell them Birdie Town Exotics, or um, we have other local friends that sell them as well. GBG gliders. Um, there's SNS Exotics. They also sell them as well. But I mean. Okay. There's a lot of people now that start. We're out of Jackson, Tennessee. Cool. All right. Well, thank you. Yep. Thank you very much. Uh, hold on. All right. Very cool. Thank you for having a big interest in invertebrates. <laughs> <laughs> don't see anything you like? I see a lot of things I like. I should have brought the waterproof camera. Uh, just don't, don't sneeze or drop it. <laughs> well, wait a second. Okay, everybody smile. Okay, go ahead. Go. go ahead. <laughs> Say cheese. Well, all right. Hey, all right. So tell me what you guys set up. What? Tell me about your setup. Oh, where are you from? Yeah. What do you uh, sell? Where can they find you? Uh, well, uh, uh, I do the turtles, and uh, I raise a lot of turtles in South Macomb. And I'm nowhere to be found, except here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your turn. All right. Boss. Zone. Yeah. There you go. We Yay. We our own food that has no wheat, no flowers, no fillers. So it's an all natural product that comes usually naturally for the turtles. So we try to get rid of all the preservatives and things out of there so they don't have those anymore. Wow. Um, our fish light, of course, still has the flour and stuff in some of it. Um, we're currently working on a tortoise food with the same thing, looking to an them by zones. And that way they'll have their type of hay that comes from their area that's natural for them and get rid of the corn and all that out of it. So that's been a little tough. We're trying to figure a binding agent or a form to put it in, but that's what we've been working on. And those are your products over there? Yep. Bring them that's out. Show them to me. This is needed. This is our, all our, we have a five stage diet. So it's basically, it's the size of the turtle. So basically, most of the time that when your turtle tank gets dirty, it's because you're feeding too large of a pellet. Right. They bite it. Or it, too much. Or too much. Mm -hmm. They bite it, it breaks apart, and it goes into the filter and dirties the tank. So we go from one stage all the way up to adult. That way they can have the appropriate size pellet, which also gives them appropriate size protein and fat ratio. As they get bigger, less protein, a little more fat. Well, so you guys have growth 
maintenance and and kind of yeah yeah that's and cool. then as it gets bigger it has bugs and then it has calcium bits so they get the calcium in there and other little additives for their age appropriate stage cool and well then, we've got uh, some terrapine carolinas right now okay and uh and one sulcata okay so what do you recommend well, how big are your uh terrapins i uh, probably about a pound each they're all adults all adults yeah probably It has their little bigger pellet, has their fun little treats in there also, and their calcium bits to give them their proteins in there from the cuddle bone. Okay. You have to feed them less because there's no fillers in it, so it goes a long ways, plus it's cheaper than what you get in the market. This woman will never feed anything less. <laughs> <laughs> I say that. Look, what, does... look what she did to me. <laughs> Because there is no flour, no wheat, no corn in it. So what they get is actually everything that they So eat. how do you get it to stick together if there's no flour and wheat and corn? It is fish meal. Ground ah, up fish. Yep, yep. That's kind of genius, actually. Yep, yep, so it has fish meal in it. Um, same thing, we have a tur box turtle food. Same thing, you're back to not having them because a lot of people want to feed them vegetables all day long. They're not necessarily a vegetable feeder. Right. 20% of their diet should be fruits and vegetables. The rest is they do forage for bugs and stuff. Mm -hmm. So we have a box turtle diet, same thing. It's age appropriate for the pellet size and then the proteins and the fats. And then as they get bigger, they get little treats and stuff in there. Okay, so if somebody wants this, I am going to get a bag of that, by the way. Okay. If somebody wants this, uh, how do they get it? We are at tropiczoneproducts.com. We do ship. We're at all the uh, herp shows here in South Louisiana. Um, we will be at the New Orleans in March. And then again, here in June, the Lafayette show, I'm not sure exactly when that one is. And then again, this one will be in December again then. So okay, check but, the herp show. But they were to go to someplace.com or? Tropiczoneproducts.com. Okay, there you go. Zoom in on that. Gotcha, okay. And we do ship. All right. Hmm? Um, they're amphibians. They're actually pretty cool. They, uh, they're yes, uh, both. Either way, you just have to have a, a clean setup for them. But aquariums are better. No. Well, when I say aquarium, it doesn't necessarily mean fish. Okay. When I see aquarium, I think of filtered water. <laughs> this is not one of those breeds of snakes that's known to be mean. Shucks. Let me show them something look real quick. <laughs> <laughs> He's super sweet. Lady, don't eat the snake. That's your butt. It'll come out. She likes it. Like a dog. <laughs> she likes it. That's, you can that's snake that's bite on the turtle scratcher. <laughs> oh, tortoise is This lady friend. is super talented. And I like that fox tattoo. That's cool. Thanks. I did not do it. <laughs> <laughs> That would have even been really, really talented. She's cute, huh? Just like there's spotted turtles in the container up there. Mm -mm. Yep. Little itty bitty babies, they're so precious. Come on, you wanna see the um, snake again? So, look how tiny. No. When I was a kid, remember the story I talked about the one I had in the fish in the uh, baby pulp pond out back? It ran away and then came back? Yeah. Yeah, that's what, that's what that was. Awesome little turtle. Pretty cool. So, your booth is. East Squared. Huh? East Squared. Okay. Tell us about it. Uh, it's actually my friend and her husband's business. So, so you're not going to advertise for your friend and your husband? Her husband. Or, or her husband. Or, sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to do that to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just work with them occasionally. Um, no, they live up in northern Mississippi and have big 500. So if somebody were trying to, to work with some of their reptiles and so forth, where would they go? 
Where would they go? Dot com, Facebook pages. Um, e squared, exo at Facebook. There's, they also have a website um, and an Instagram that's e squared exotics. Okay. See, you can do it. I can. I'm just recovering from food poisoning. <laughs> Dying, so it's cool. Well, welcome to New Orleans. I live here. <laughs> I rest my case. Okay. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Poisonous. Venomous. Venomous. If somebody's going to give you hell to catch you saying that. <laughs> what do you want on my bag of turtle food? Beef. There's no, I guess there's no point in him coming, so we just got it here and have to sell it for him. Okay, can you uh, describe some of the processes best again? This diaphanization, all I know. You take it and put it through a process, and then you can see like the the bones and all that, like in that goldfish. Mm -hmm. And it, you see right through the meat or the tissue, I mean. And then you take these and put them on a little bit more preserve it. See, I've got like one of those two gallon jars, one of those big pop top lid things, yeah. and it's full of patients that didn't make it. Yeah. Little turtles, all kinds of lizards and snakes and stuff. And I have wanted to get into this for the longest oh, yeah. time. This sounds cool. I don't know how to do it. He does it. He was, he was standing there. He could, he could tell you. He does it. He Where's he at? Uh, North Carolina. Oh, he's not here? Oh, he just sent you to no, sell no, it? Yeah, we, we, we brought his stuff for him. Okay. That's cool stuff. And if they were looking to, to check his catalog out or buy stuff from him, it's where would they go? That dead guy. On that dead guy. That dead guy. <laughs> He's got actually. That, did he vote? Who did he vote for? The rock. Did he vote this year? I have no clue. No. Okay. I have no clue. But that that's like his little logo right there. All, All right, let's go check out his logo. On Facebook and Instagram. That dead guy is on Facebook and Instagram. These are some beautiful specimens. I am going to buy one of these, just so you know. All right. That dead guy. Yep, that's exactly what he said. Send us a message. Talk to that dead guy. Get one of his... Those dead creatures. That's cool. You guys prep these yourselves? Yeah. Very good work, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Interrupt tile showing something fuzzy goes by your leg. That's just not right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I have a YouTube channel and uh, I'm also a local veterinarian. Yeah. Do you guys want to tell us how to get in touch with you and if they like these bones and this stuff? Sure thing. Um, actually, you can take one of our cards and all of our information is on there. We're on Instagram at The Undertaker's Vault. Keep talking. <laughs> I'm sorry. You've been doing this all day. You can do one more time. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit on the shy side. Sorry about that. Um, we could make him talk. But yeah, um, we're local here in Marrero, so if any of oh, cool. y'all want to reach out to us, we have some things on our page, and if you see something here at the show that you guys like, just let us know. We ship cool. locally and also around the world, so very cool. Let us very know. cool. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll look at them all cozy in there. Is that your monkey? <laughs> yeah, he is. Okay. <laughs> Four months. Yeah. But we're medieval serpents. We're from over in like uh, Mobile area in cool. Alabama, and we do mostly fancy roaches and roly polies from all over the world. And uh, we get some snakes and stuff, but exotics, feeders, education, that's what we're all about. Cool. And if you needed a vet for one of these guys, who would you call? Well, we'd probably call you, I'd imagine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you very much. Yes, sir.